Hi guys, welcome to The Great Burnett. Today, I thought I would show you something that's very special to me. Yes, it's my woman cave. Come on, let's check it out. many layers. Um, I have my super important chilling out section <laughs> which is the TV and my sofa so when Michael is playing on the PlayStation in the living room um, or if he's got his mates round and they're just talking cars <laughs> then I'll be in here watching this and at the moment the fa my favorite program that I'm like binge watching is all the old episodes of Star Trek. So I recently watched the one, well, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one that's got Scott Bakula in it. You know, the guy from Quantum Leap. So I watched that, totally obsessed with it, loved it. And I was so sad when that ended. Um, and then I started watching um, the one, um, I, can't, I can't, I just can't remember what they're called, but it's the one with um, Jean-Luc Picard. And I'm like halfway through that, and I'm gonna be so gutted when it ends, but still. That's what I'm watching at the moment. My lovely TV and my lovely sofa. And the sofa, I, I sit on there and I always end up having the dog and two cats on there as well. And you may have noticed that one of the cats, she sits on the back of the sofa and she's, she's a little bit overweight. And the sofa, the back of the sofa is just sort of, just <laughs> expanding and getting lower. Um, also, the sofa is on wheels, that's something that we changed. Um, it was on legs, but we thought if we could put it on wheels, then I can move it about so I can push it against the wardrobe when I'm watching telly. I can get it out of the way when I'm using this section. So let's talk about this section. So this little area is where I do my photography. I've set it up as a little mini studio. And I've even, I took down the curtains that I had up here and I put up this backdrop fabric um, because there are two poles on the um, curtain pole. So I, when I need a light background, like the white one, I just pull that across. And if I want a black background, then I pull this one across. I shut the shutters everywhere to give me, you know, as much darkness as I can. And then I've got this bad boy, uh, which is a fantastic uh, studio light, which I use for my photography. Um, and these, <laughs> this, my mother-in-law gave me this a few years ago. Um, we actually brought it back in the car when we drove back from England and we, we sat her in the back seat with a, with a seat belt on. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes I use her in the photography. Um, I don't know why I'm referring to it as a her. Um, but she's very handy just to put my robes on. Um, and then this one, it's another one that's absolutely wrecked, but I loved that about it. I thought it would be really cool for the photography. Um, and I got that from a local thrift shop. Um, I have used it a couple of times when I'm doing my photographs, but um, and at the moment she's just a handbag hanger. And I love the way that looks. I know I'm a bit weird. So, so when I'm doing my photography, I just move everything out of the way, set everything up with the lights, and then I'm ready to go. So that's really cool, really pleased with it. I do love this light though, it's mega. One of my wardrobes. <clears throat> Here's just one of my wardrobes full of clothes. I have a lot of clothes. Quite a lot of clothes. <laughs> anyway, so I have... This is all the stuff that has to be folded. So I've got a real thing about not putting certain things on hangers because I, I, I can't bear it when things get ruined on the shoulders and it happens a lot, especially in shops. I, I'll see something that I really like and I'll take it off the hanger and it's ruined because of the, what the hanger's done to it and that's one of my real bugbears. So I avoid putting certain things on hangers. So I've got loads of stuff, all the jumpers, um, 
t-shirts, jumpers, there's a few dresses, non-creasable stuff that'll all go in there. So that's that. All my sort of workout and loungewear is in there. And then in this one, on this side, I've got my lovely scarf collection. I love scarves. I'm a bit obsessed with them. <laughs> They're just so easy to wear. I mean, they can completely change an outfit just by adding a scarf. So um, I think they're good investments. <laughs> My latest one, which I adore, is, oops, goes the black one. So my latest one is this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's black with pink and blue uh, stars all over it and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I bought that from um, Brigitte Bijou, I think that's how you say it, for a bargain, I think it was in the sale for like six euros. So I've got loads of scarves, I've got special, when, when Mike, Michael set this up for me, so he's got all these lovely hangers for the scarves. I've got more in the drawer down there. <laughs> and then inside, I've got um, some more scarves, what a surprise. Watches and jewellery, swimsuits, lots of necklaces. So that's kind of my necklace division. So that's that one. This is my bureau that we bought second hand a few years ago um, and we painted it white um, it needs repainting really at the moment and I put all these funky handles on um, but it's, it's a bit of a mess. Anyway this is full of more accessories and jewellery and stuff. Um, I painted the inside pink. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking but I've got all my, my notebooks and stuff and then I've got all my lovely jewellery in here, um, all my collection of stuff, which I'm not going to show you because there's quite a lot of it and we'll be here all day. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll just give you an example. I've got these lovely cups. Most of this stuff was inherited, so it's a very special um, But if you go to the blog, which is thegreybrunette.com, you'll see all that kind of stuff on there. And when I do my style posts, I'm always wearing some jewellery. Anyway, that's my bureau. And then there's the light beautiful light which I recently inherited it's gold and peacock feathers and it's beautiful and it's got two settings which I really like <clears throat> it's got this one which is like a really white light which is like a daylight and then in the evening there's another setting which gives more of like a golden yellow light which is really pretty um, but this is really handy for doing your makeup This is my little desk that we bought again second hand and we painted it white and we put these lovely handles on. <clears throat> so this is my makeup corner. So this, all of this is pretty much full of makeup and creams and stuff like that. And I've got my brushes here and my fabulous mirror which I use to do my makeup in the morning. And I put this, I open this and I put this light on so that I've got extra light. Um, which, let's face it, we need extra light, you know, when we're like on our way to our 50s. <laughs> we might not want it, but we need it. So this is really good, this mirror. Because it's a regular... Um, um, oh my god, my brain just doesn't work. It's like total brain fog. Does this happen to you? It's like all the time. I can't even get my words out and form sentences properly. Oh. What was I saying? Magnification. That's the word I was looking for. So this is normal. 
Um, I think this one's normal. Yeah, this, they're both normal. And this one is like times times 10 and one's 20 or something like that. I don't even remember. But it's really good. And it actually comes with another one, which is really scary. It's 50. So, which is really good for getting those old chin hairs. <laughs> So that's where I do my makeup, and this is where I do all my blog posts, and my writing, and my interneting, <laughs> and my iPadding. <laughs> oh god, uh, yeah, TikTok. So when, I, when I'm like sitting here and I want a break, I'll just sit, I put my feet up, open the old iPad, open TikTok. really handy about this desk is that I can put my computer up there and I've got my little keyboard and I look straight ahead and I don't get neck ache. Genius, huh? The oh, little things, little things in life. So, yeah, so that's my desk set up. Yeah, let's move on. This is my little, the little rail that I use when I'm doing the um, hauls. Hang all my clothes on there. It was like such a cheap thing that when you pick it up, it it usually falls apart. But <laughs> it works okay. Oh, my towel! Oh, this is one of the best things I ever bought, and it was recommended by Laurie at. Um, Vanity and me. Sorry, Laurie. <laughs> My brain just doesn't work. Anyway, this is a, it's really, really good for your hair. Um, it, it, it was like a, just completely changed my, the way I dry my hair. <sighs> it's amazing. It's by Aquis and it just sucks up all the moisture in your hair. So you haven't got to like rub it or anything. So it's just, if you've got thin hair or perimenopausal hair or you just really want to look after your hair, I can't recommend that enough. So that's just on there because it was drying. So, wardrobe number two. <laughs> this is full of everything else that I can hang up that, you know, needs hanging up. And all my shoes. But we're not going to talk about that because I'm going to do a separate video. Probably called Closet Confessions. But we'll see. So in the meantime, I just wanted to show you basic bits and pieces. This is full of the same stuff. Coats, jackets, a wedding dress, not my wedding dress. The wedding dress that I bought for something else but I'll tell you about that in the other video. So that's the wardrobe. Big wardrobe. <laughs> and it's full. <laughs> So this is my makeup, um, no I don't mean makeup, this is my perfume bracelet and handbag corner. So and body lotions and potions and hairsprays and all that kind of stuff. And my Betty Boop, this was a gift from my mother-in-law a few years ago. Um, when she found out that I loved Betty Boop she bought me this. And she's gorgeous, just love her. So that's, yeah, all my bags, but we'll talk about those when I talk about my closet confessions. Not that I've got anything to confess about, but apart from, from my obsession for accessories and clothes and things. But yeah, that's that. That's the... Ooh, 
<laughs> so I guess we'll finish up on the sofa. It's a fantastic sofa, which I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but we took the legs off. Come on, Luna. Hello. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. So we took the legs off of it and put wheels on it so that I can move it around. So when I need to get into the wardrobe, I just push it forward. When I want to watch TV, I can push it back here. If I'm doing my photography, I can just turn it around and push it over there. It gives me loads of room without giving up the comfort of having a lovely, soft, relaxing, covered in dog hair, cat hair, squished by the cat sofa. <laughs> it's actually a yellow, it's a yellow um, velvet sofa that we bought from one of my favourite shops here. It's Maison du Monde. Um, they've, um, I think it's obviously French, but we have a few stores here in Portugal and it is the most amazing home store ever. I love it. Um, and we came across this sofa and it was on offer in the sale. And then I think they, it was, oh, it also had an extra discount because it said that it had something wrong with it. So they showed us it had a rip down the back. So Michael made them a cheeky offer and said, well, with a rip down the back like that, will you accept this amount, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much, like a couple of hundred, 300 euros or something like that. And um, and they accepted it, so we bought it, and then we just put throws on it. And um, it's really comfy, actually. I love it. And it's so nice that I can come in here and get away from the PlayStation when he's on the PlayStation. <laughs> or if he's got the boys over and they're talking cars and I've just had enough of cars and I'll just come in here and watch my programs. Love it. So that's it. That's my aptly named woman cave. I was calling it my walk-in wardrobe and my office and then I was calling it a clothis, a closet office. And then it suddenly dawned on me this morning during meditation, bizarrely enough, that it's actually my woman cave. It's where I escape to when I need to, and I love it. It's my favourite room in the house. Um, I just hope we can recreate this kind of thing in the new house, when the new house is built. But again, that's a, no a video for another time. Um, early next year we're starting the build, so I'll be posting lots about that, which I can't wait. So that's it. That's my woman cave. And that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I haven't bored you to tears. If I have, then you're probably not watching anyway, anymore, so. <laughs> oh gosh. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, um, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it, and if your total brain is a complete fog and messed up like mine because you're going through the same thing, you're in your 40s, 50s um, and you're confused and you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> then please subscribe because you'll probably get me, you know, because, you know, the guys just don't really get it, do they? But we get each other and um, I think we need to get each other and we, we need to connect with other women that are going through this shit. <laughs> oh, anyway, enough of that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So I'll see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye. So as you can see, it's a room of many of many, I don't know what the word is, damn perimenopause, damn you!